Happy New Year, everyone. Happy 2022. I hope all is well with each and every last one of you guys. Hope you stand positive, protecting, blessed, and prayed up. And keep your guys all the way up, okay? This is going to be a reading for Divine Feminine, okay, guys? So, we're going to see what's going on with Divine Feminine, all right? All right? Spirit guides, my God, the angel or angels, what are the messages for the divine feminine? <clears throat> Bring that man to me. Divine feminine, what is going on in divine feminine life? What are the divine feminine thinking, feeling, doing? What is she up to? What is she going through? Divine feminine for January the 1st to January the 5th, 2022. Divine Feminine. What is going on in the Divine Feminine life? Divine Feminine. What am I Divine Feminine thinking, feeling, doing? What is she up to? What is she going through? Divine Feminine for January 1st to January 5th, 2022. Baby, come to me. Cause I love you. <coughs> Excuse me. You got me going on. Divine Feminine. 2022, y'all. Can y'all believe it? No secret. I make you want me. I make you love me. Whoa. A moon above. A friend of mine. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, divine feminine. All right, guys. <laughs> I've been so busy, guys. I mean, busy. Whoa. But I thank God for keeping me busy. Amen. Divine feminine. Why the message from my divine feminine? Why my divine feminine thinking, feeling, doing? What is she up to? What is she going through? Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. What is Divine Feminine thinking, feeling, doing? Is she up to? Is she going through? Divine Feminine. So we got a lot of messages for the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. I'm feeling, I'm feeling cut it, guys. I know. Divine Feminine. <laughs> okay. Let's cut these cards. Divine Feminine. What's going on in Divine Feminine life? Divine Feminine got the Seven of Cups. Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, okay, money's coming in, money looks good, your divine wish has been granted, whatever you've been praying for, divine feminine is coming in, money, prosperity, new opportunity, jobs, someone's going to propose to you, money, child support, inheritance, lawsuit, Whatever you've been waiting on, money that's been owed to you, your wish and dreams, and whatever has been granted, whatever you've been praying to your God and angel or angel ancestors, your spirit guides for. <clears throat> okay, divine feminine, eight of cups. You got a Pisces coming to you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water sign. This could be divine masculine, or this could be your ex or someone, a family member, a friend. But someone's going through karma, someone's catching hair, someone's homeless out in the streets, lost a job, lost a relationship, money, and all. This is hidden genders, motives, and flaws. Someone's keeping secrets and they're not being honest with you whatsoever. This can be an ex of yours or whosoever. We have the seven in cups. This one's watching you. This can be your ex that's watching you, a uh, secret admirer. Uh, a sex offender, a pedophile, a psychopath, you never know, right? But someone's been watching you, um, you know, observing you. They've just been watching you, looking at you, trying to figure you out, trying to see what you're on. Or this can be you, uh, Divine Feminine. Be careful what you, what you pick up, who you come in contact with, or uh, whatsoever. Because all that glitter ain't gold, you'll be surprised. You never know. So be very careful, Divine Feminines. Okay, because you can be again, someone could be watching you. You just never know. Okay. All right, we have a Knight of Pentacles. This could be a Virgo. Someone's coming in toward you with an offer, with some money, with a gift, or with something. Okay, they can come, be coming at night or they be coming at day. You never know. Five of Pentacles. 
Divine Feminine, someone's feeling left out in the cold by you. Or this could be you feeling left out in the cold by someone. Someone could be homeless, going through some hard times, health problems, loss of money, loss of job, feeling... Someone just feels hopeless, useless, worthless, and shitless. Someone's just feel... I don't know if you put someone out or this is someone feel this way or this can be you, Divine Feminine. You can feel like no one loves you, no one cares. Or you just feel unloved. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't have nowhere to go. No one to talk to. No friends. Okay, whatsoever. The bottom of the card, we got Divine Feminine. We have the Knight of Swords. This is a Leo fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a fire sign, Leo. Nine of Wands. This is Sagittarius fire sign. Okay. Nine of Swords. Okay, Divine Feminine. All right. And also, we had the uh, strict card, and we had the magician. So, divine, I mean, chosen one, divine feminine, divine masculine, whatsoever. Divine feminine. You could be doing magic. You could be a practitioner, a light worker, spiritual healer. Okay? You can be a witch. All right? Or a warlock. Okay? Someone could be going to a warlock or a practitioner. You could be a manifester. You could be manifesting love, good health, good wealth, money, prosperity, good things in your life. Okay? Or this could be Gemini Virgo or someone could be doing magic on you. Divine Feminine. It could be a Gemini Virgo or this could be any sign. But this could be you as well, Divine Feminine. You could be doing magic yourself. You could be manifesting things, good and bad, or who whatsoever. Okay, we have the strength card, okay? This could be a Leo watching you, observing you, stressing over you. This could be someone's hiding things from you, not being honest with you. Or this can be you, Divine Feminine, your guiding angel, your earth angel, your ancestors, your spirit guides are with you. They are guiding you, directing, protecting you, giving you strength, encouragement to you know to keep moving forward, to keep moving on. Like I said, this can be a fire sign. Someone's watching you. They're not being honest with you. This is someone with hidden disabilities and flaws. You know this person is, is not well upstairs, mentally ill. Nine of Swords. This could be you crying, stressing, worry over someone, Divine Feminine. Or this could be someone else worrying, stressing, crying over you. Up at night, can't sleep, missing someone. This could be this fire sign of someone stressing, worrying over you, missing you, or who whatsoever. We have the 91. Someone's watching you, observing you. Someone's trying to, or this can be you need more clarity. You feel undecided about someone, a situation. Or this is someone looking at you. They're not sure should they approach you, how to come at you, or whatsoever. Neither so. This is a Leo fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo. This is someone coming at you all aggressive, uh, abusive, like a narcissist that wants to fight and argue with you. Okay, just be careful, Divine Feminine. This is someone who can be jealous of you or an ex of yours that's not bright upstairs. Okay. We have the Tower Divine Feminine. Someone's trying to cause you problems in your life. This could be a Scorpio, water sign, or any sign. But someone, you're going to hear about something. You're going to hear about lies. You're going to hear about somebody wrong you, betray you, backstab you, Divine Feminine. You're going to hear some bullshit. Be careful drinking and driving through you. I car accident. Be careful crossing the streets. Watch your back. Watch your surroundings, who you talk with, who you deal with. Okay, you know, be careful. You're going to hear something about someone uh, it could be someone that betrayed you or you're going to hear about something someone did. So it's going to be exposed. So whoever, whoever do whatever in the light or oh, in the dark, it's going to come out in the light. So something's going to be exposed. Do you I drink and drive car accident? Please be careful. Watch the counters, fire, smoke detectors, check the shit. The lovers, this is a Gemini. So divine feminine, you could be a Gemini or you could be in love with a Gemini or you a family member, or you talking to a family member about a Gemini, or a loved one, a family member about a romantic partner, or someone, something about a Gemini, some news about a Gemini, <sighs> lovers, it could be same sex, or it could be someone that likes you, okay, someone, like someone could be talking shit, making lies up on a Gemini, the lovers, something about secrets or something about okay 
Six of Swords. This could be Aquarius, or this can be you, Divine Feminine, who whatsoever. You know, someone's moving to come a water. Someone's need to get away. Someone need to move away from these people, away from the environment. Okay, or this can be Aquarius. Someone's coming to see you, Divine Feminine. It can be Aquarius, but someone's coming to visit someone, or just be you moving to a a different resident, a new resident, a new home. This could be you need to get away. For a vacation or a break or something, you and your child or something. Like I said, this could be Aquarius or someone that you know, a family member. We have the Page of Pentacles, an Earth sign Virgo towards a Capricorn. This could be you looking at your money or this could be someone looking at your money, Divine Feminine. This could be someone checking you out. A Virgo towards Capricorn or any side. Someone could be checking you out, Divine Feminine. Someone could be looking at you. Okay, checking you out. Or this could be you, Divine Feminine. You could be waiting on a check or some money or some mail on the way. Or you could be trying to get a loan, trying to get some money from someone. Or this could be someone. Um, like I said, this could be you waiting on mail or taking pictures of yourself. So you could be checking your phone, your text messages. Okay, also, yeah. Yeah, you can be. We have the four ones. New love, new relationship, moving on, moving to a new home, new resident. It can be with a family member or ex of marriage or soulmate, twin flame, or who whatsoever. Divine feminine. Ace of Cups, security helping hand. So someone's reaching out to you, helping you, supporting you. Okay. It could be with a gift or jobs, you know, offers to you. Like I said, this could be an ex yours. The bad masculine wants to come in and help you. A new love. Someone wants to spoil you, support you, the bad feminine. They want to help you. They want to, you deserve it. Okay? You deserve it. This can be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that likes you. Okay? So it could be someone like that. We have Justice, Divine Feminine, to Libra card, okay? Or this could be any sign. Like I said, you could be going through some type of legal situation. You was wrong for the accused or done wrong, betrayed back stale. Justice is going to go in your favor, okay? We got the hair friend. Look at that. See, God knows what's best. God knows the truth, okay? You can't get away with God. You can't get away with God. People's chosen ones. Uh, you know, spirit, whatever religion or spiritual or you believe in, practice, okay. But God knows who's telling the truth. This lawyer, this judge, they see through this person, divine feminine, okay. You can be going through a court, some child support for a father, child, or you can be taking someone, a family member to court, or you can be going through some separation, divorce, marriage, or something like that. But you're going to get justice for this, some type of government system. It could be somebody betray you through the government system. They could be took money from you, stole from you, lied to you, betraying you. Right, this justice. So you're going to get justice. Like I said, someone have not been helping out with their child. Someone owes you money. It could be child support, uh, uh, some type of legal situation. Okay, you're going to get justice. King of Cups. This is a water sign, Scorpio. Council of Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's very emotional. This could be you, Divine Feminine. You could be feeling emotional, stressed out, worried, upset. Or this could be someone that you know looking at you in that way, Divine Feminine. Very frustrating, upset. Five of Swords. This is Aquarius sign, L sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone... Divine Feminine, like I said, this can be someone looking at you like that, Divine Feminine. This could be Aquarius, air sign, or any sign. Or this could be people that you know, so-called friends and family. The mask is coming off their fucking face. You see the real side of them. You see the true them. You see their motives and flaws. You see these people's genders. You look at how they're acting towards you, the way they act. It could be family, friends, whoever. These motherfuckers trying to treat you, you know, like 
you not worth it. Like, but you know, you looking at these motherfuckers, you know what's up, divine feminine. You can feel it, you can sense it. Some of you could be psychics, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know something is up. You know what's up. You see these people turning on you. God said, let them walk away. Let them walk away. Okay? You know, let them walk away. They negative. They toxic. Who wants people that's jealous of them around them? Who wants jealous friends, enemies, and frenemies? Phony, pretending like they like you. Who wants that bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Let these people walk away. You know what I'm saying? Divine feminine, let them go. You know, you you know your worth. Know your worth. It's jealousy and envy. Comic people watching you, stalking you, gang stalking you, targeting you. Psychopath, psychotic, narcissistic. These people been abused, neglected, abandoned. And these people never had a life. They never had love. They never would show love. So therefore they show hate, you know, towards other people. <laughs> You know, divine feminine. So some of these people have mental illness. They they something is wrong with them, but just be careful. Stay strapped. Cause people like this, support that you thought was your homies, your family, they not. The mass is coming off. You seeing this shit. High priestess, listen to your intuition, your psychic abilities, you very intuitive. You know what's up, you know the truth, you know the good, the bad. Okay, can't nobody pull the wood over your motherfucking eyes over your hood. You know, you know the truth. Jealousy, envy, you know the truth. These be caseworkers, co-workers, bosses. These people be doing shit behind your back. You know, stalking you, trying to gather people against you, just, you know, work against you. They can be doing black magic, witchcraft, voodoo, juju. You know what I'm saying? These people crazy. I'm telling you, I pick up that shit every day. I don't have to do tarot cards. I'm very into I can just read shit and know shit. I pick it up, I feel it. You know, you can I can just look at a person until they fucked up in the head. Anytime somebody stalk you and harass you and target you, they fucking ill. They crazy, they psychotic. You understand what I'm saying? Listen to your intuition, your psychic ability, your clairvoyance, your dreams. You telling the truth, you right on track. You're, you 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 right. You know something that's not right. You feel it. You can sense it. You the high priest. What the fuck? We have eight of ones. It's Sagittarius. Love coming in. News about love. It could be about love or death or someone. Okay. Yeah, it could be speedy news about love or loved one passing away or death or someone. Okay. So, like I said, divine feminine. Okay, it's it's crazy out here. You know, we got the tower. We got people that are trying to cause confusion in your life. Problems reporting on you, lying on you. Be careful. Car, like I said, car accident, drinking and driving. Four ones, new love. Okay. It's going to be something about this new love, about, about this move or whatsoever, divine feminine. But just be careful. Like I said, you got to... A water sign king comes that's very emotional, frustrated at you. This can be someone that you don't deal with anymore. Divine feminine. Maybe you broke it off with this person. They mad. They frustrated. They angry at you. Kind of bipolar. Like I said, the lovers. Divine feminine. You could be a Gemini. You could, someone could be in love with you. You could be in love with two people. Or the same sex partner. Or a, a family member. You could be talking to a family member about a loved one. Ace of Cups, like I said, someone wants to support you and help you, reach out to you. Water sign, you got five of swords, like I said, comic people, negative, narcissistic, flying monkeys. Okay. <laughs> yes, so. Yes. Divine Feminines and Cross Watchers. This is y'all reading, okay. For January 1st to January 5th, 2022, guys. Happy New Year, goddammit. Like I said, I've been busy, honey, with my mom, my daughter, everything. Trying to get everything back together. School start back Monday, January 3rd, 2022. So, I've been working my ass off. I've been like, whoa. So, Spirit told me, come on, let's do this reading. Let's do this. Get it on out the way. You know, <laughs> so happy new year and guys and many more. 
and stay blessed and be blessed and smooches. Mwah.